Hello my beautiful badgers, Messy Coder back again and I've been bullied by my community to start using version control and GitHub in particular. Again, it's my five year anniversary since I signed up for GitHub and I haven't done anything with it. So I figured why not make a wonderful video showing noobs like me out there how easy it is to use Unity and Git together. In particular, we're going to be playing about with GitHub. So sit back, enjoy and I'll see you all in a second. First things first, my beautiful badgers, pop yourself over to github.com and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. Don't be put off by all of this start of an enterprise and all these pricing things because actually it is free and make sure you ignore all of this stuff where they want lots of money and do the join for free because you don't have to pay anything if you want to use it. Yeah, ignore this, get one month free, just do that, click join for free, put in your details and away you go and then finally go to desktop.github.com and grab yourself their windows app or the mac version if you want to use the mac version and it's very easy to install and when you do it looks something like this so let's do that and then pop into the github desktop application once you've loaded up your github desktop app you'll notice that you need to log in so if you go over to options you'll have this option over here in the options to sign in and it will send you over to the browser to continue the sign in process. So make sure that you do and you give it permission to launch. And now it looks a little bit like this. It will say that it wants to link to your account and then you authorize it and then pop back into. Here we go and boom, you looks like you've got no repositories. Wonderful. Now you can create your own repositories from using the GitHub website and also show you something really cool first of all. If you go down to settings, go to appearance, you can go, oh nice, that's better, that's more like it, that's better on the eyes. So we go to repositories and we could click new and on here you could go uh, funky town if that's what will be your repo name uh, and set it to private add a readme git ignore find unity down in here where are you for you for unity oh wow there's so many in here unity you could choose a license if you don't put a license the default one is that copyright law that everything's yours people can't use it they can't steal it everything's safe and create repo and away we go we've now got a repo that's made uh funky down but we want to use the github desktop to do all of this so I'm gonna go to settings and I'm going to delete this repo uh, I'm gonna just copy what it says here and no oh, it's deleted it's gone uh, oddly it still says one in here so that's a bit weird isn't it now one of the reasons why I like using git desktop to do this is because if I create the repository from this tool then it's already found the location on my hard drive and it's just one extra step I don't have to worry about. Now, if you're importing in an existing one, then it's you'll just see the list here. You click on this button and you'll add it to that folder on your hard drive. So let's click this and get started. This little pretty window pops up and you can set a local path where I'm gonna put it in a git shenanigans folder. I'm gonna give it a name uh shenanigans that's a long name because what should we call it uh test repo test dash repo and this is a test repo get ignore i'm going to put that back to the unity one like we had on the other and going to put a readme in this just because it's always good to have a readme and license leave that as none because this is mine it's personal you could change this and put other licenses in there but no not sharing you and create the repo boom now it's done it i will need to publish this otherwise if we go to the uh the web account you're not going to be able to see it or do anything so i'm just going to go and boom going to be uh keep this private yes it's private this is my name this is the description everyone's happy job is a good one brilliant now we need to find that folder and we're going to go and create a unity project in that folder 
So here I am trying to create a new project. And if I go into Git shenanigans, we'll see test repo. I'm going to open up test repo and I'm going to stick it inside. Be careful. That's always a dangerous thing to do. But no, we're fine. I'm going to give it a name. Git test project. And I'm going to click create project. Then it's going to take a while. So let's have a cup of coffee and come back. Actually, the funny thing is, while this is still going on, we can still do stuff because uh, it's actually already started creating the folders and now it's trying to open Unity. So uh, you can see here that we've got 4,860 changed files now in our temp project that we've made here. That's crazy, especially as we told it to ignore a lot of this jibber jabber rubbish Unity files. We've got our project in a subfolder. It's not actually sitting in the root of here. So all you need to do is grab this git ignore, copy it, go into your actual Unity project and paste it into the root there. And like magic now, you see it's gone down to 27 changed files from that 4,800. You'll also notice that we've got the project settings in here. That's good to have that under version control because you are changing those. And also you'll notice that I've got some meta files here that are visible. Uh, you might have different settings and you ignore between different people in your teams. So do make sure you are doing the same thing so that if some people don't have the files and it tries to remove them and then other people try to add them, you don't get stuck in some kind of loop of hell. I mean, that's a collab problem. It's something I'm not having to worry about because I've got no friends to collab with. This is just for me to be managing my own code effectively. And that's another point. You don't need to be using GitHub with a team. You can be doing Git version control by yourself. Here we are inside Unity. Now go over to Edit and Project Settings. And depending on the version of Unity you're using, you'll find in the editor this asset serialization. We want mode to be set to forced text. And in version control down here, we want mode to be set to visible meta files. And that is it. Now we're done. And if we pop back over into here, we'll notice we've actually got 30 changed files now. And we can say over here in the summary, uh, added blank unity project. And this is the empty hello world. Commit to main. And now we can push this to origin. And this is where we're going to see all the exciting magic that's just happened because if you pop back over to the GitHub website and you look at your account, you'll notice, oh, created a commit in a repository and created a repository. Oh, my word. Go over to repositories and you'll find your repo. And if you click it, you click, click. Oh, my gosh. Look, Git test project. It's in there. And if we click it, we will see that it's not all of that rubbish Unity folders that it always seems to fill up the space and your hard drive becomes huge. No, it's only the ones that really matter. And if we go in, you'll even see you've got your scenes folder and that scenes meta file. There you go. <laughs> We've set up our first Unity project with GitHub. Uh, and it's really, really easy. Oh my word. Shall we quickly just make a folder in there and then commit that folder too? So here we are. I'm going to uh, create a new folder. I'm going to call it testy. And inside testy, we're going to create a C sharp script. Going to call, create this mono behavior. And it's just going to be new mono behavior. That's what it is. There you go. Then we're going to do something really naughty. We're going to delete this one here. Oh no, what did we do? We deleted something. Ah! Okay, let's get back into the desktop here and we'll see in changes that we've got a minus 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 next to this one because it's deleted the scenes meta file which is the folder and the sample scene and the sample scenes meta file as well and it's added the testy folder meta file and it's also added in the new behavior script for the mono behavior and its meta file now if you didn't have the testy meta file then it'd be like well where's the meta information for this folder so it's good that it's all in here so we're going to say here uh, small changes new file and removed the old scenes 
scenes and added new mono behavior. Okay, that's our commit. And why haven't we started playing about with whole branches and all that shenanigans just yet? So let's just walk or crawl before we walk. Now, if we pop back over to our repo, uh, test repo, we will see that we've got three commits. Hey, we've got our commits. So that was it. That was the very quick, let's get very messy started using GitHub and Unity. And we've got no excuses not to keep on doing this. So I hope this helped at least one person out there in the universe. But most importantly, it was to prove to people that I am using Git again. Trust me. You can trust me. I'm a coder. So if you do like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down the bottom. Tell all your friends that Messi is finally going back to version control after many years of hiding under a rock. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.